Welcome back to another video. Before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Now, just a little thing before we start. Uh, day 14 of Ramadan. Every time you subscribe, it encourages me to make more videos. Currently, I lost one subscriber, and that really made me sad, even though I only lost one. And that's why there hasn't been too many videos. So... Um, whoever sub unsubs unsubscribed from my channel and now I only have 48, please subscribe again. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, well, day four, well, uh, now on day four 14, this is my second time fasting, uh, in 2019. Hey, and I actually feel much better than the last day. Today's topic is about waking up before sunrise. And that is called Zahur. And Zahur is the meal that you eat before sunrise to get you ready for the rest of the day. There is a hadith about Zahur, uh, which says, it says do Zahur because there is a blessing in it. What, what, point number one. What are the blessings in Zahur? Let's find out. Now, when we eat suhoor, we get we get the energy to pray, do zikr, read the Quran, and all. Uh, did I mention pray? Uh, and when we don't eat suhoor, we don't have the energy to do that. We don't have the energy to do zikr, pray, read the Quran, do good deeds. Now another now another thing is point no, well, point number two. Sorry, not another thing. Point number two is. If we don't eat suhoor, then we're going to feel hungry. And when we're going to feel hungry the whole day, we're going to feel angry. And when we feel angry, we're going to misbehave on Ramadan. And misbehaving and being angry is one of the worst things you can do on Ramadan. Point number three. When we fast, we're encouraged to eat suhoor because, because fasting is less difficult when you eat suhoor. Or would you rather be hungry the whole day until sunset? And when we eat, so when we eat Zahur, it encourages us to fast more because it makes the task easier. The reason, I'm pretty sure the reason it's easier for me now is because I actually ate a good amount of food. Last time I ate, my, like, I was so tired, my jaw could barely move, so I didn't really eat much. But today, I just, like, tried to push my jaws hard, and it worked. I'm actually feeling better today. God is helping me today. Thank you, God. Point number four says that, uh, that uh, doing suhoor is actually a sunnah, and that explains why we should do it. Now, waking up at the time of suhoor before sunset. Uh, point number five: waking up at the time uh, before uh, sunrise uh, at suhoor. That uh, at that time of the night, it's the best time to pray and make dua for uh, things you want. So, if you uh, have a uh, member of your family that's sick and you're fasting and you wake up for suhoor. Uh, that is the best time to pray for the person in your family to become not sick or to become well. Or you can play, or you can pray for yourself, your or for yourself, your family, everybody. All your prayers will be answered except for the bad prayers, like the ones where you say, "Uh, right, that guy has a PS4. Uh, God, can you please take it away from him and hand it to me?" No, prayers like that won't be answered. Those are bad prayers. Don't do those. Now, in point number seven, when you wake up for suhoor and you eat your food, point number uh, six, when you wake up for suhoor, uh, you have, to, when you eat your food, you even, you also have time to go to uh, uh, the masjid or a local masjid. And what, and uh, what you can do is you can, uh, uh, the, they're always full uh, at fudger time uh, and, um, that's a time when they're normally not full, but at, but during these times, they are full. So you can get the opportunity and the blessings. Therefore, this tells us how this tells us how important sahur is, and this is why we should not miss it, even if we are sleepy. The best thing to eat for sahur is dates. Now, if you don't know what dates are, it's basically it's. It's a fruit, and there's many different varieties. The variety that I've seen before is the brown one. I heard that Ajwa dates are the highest quality. Today's lesson is to show patience during Ramadan and Suhoor and not to throw a tantrum even though I feel hungry. Surprisingly, I'm not throwing one. And time for my gift. 
Oh, it's a watch. Wow. Yeah. Ho hold on. Uh, it's, a, it's my favorite color. It's a watch and it's my favorite color. I needed a watch. Thank you, Mom and Dad. It's a little particles on it. Fits on me nicely. Ooh, what does this button do? Oh, what is this? What is this magical device? <laughs> I love it. It's so amazing. What? What? Switches through like different. Okay, that's counting second. Okay. Mom and Dad, thank you so much. Bye, guys. Have a great Ramadan.